if you all want to learn how to make loaded supreme nachos and i mean these are the best nachos you have ever tasted follow along with me all right guys so the first thing that you do is you ground up your turkey meat and um i get these from aldi's i get my turkey from aldi's little round rolls they're in the freezer section at aldi's so i have already ground this up and seasoned it but it's nothing super super fancy this is two pounds and you use these but before you use the taco seasoning packs before you do that here as of lately and this has taken my taco game and nacho game up a uh, several notches i put in this brown sugar bourbon seasoning from mccormick's it is so good i put like a half to three-fourths of a teaspoon in here in the two pounds of turkey meat and then i put just a little bit of garlic powder in maybe one fourth of a teaspoon of that and then i put in the taco seasoning packs and one per pound so i used two of these because i had two pounds you can use whatever you want if you like hot or spicy or whatever it is i like mixing the mild and the reduced sodium together and um oh and if you cannot find this because this is like hot and in demand y'all it'd be out a lot so when i find it i grab it um a couple of them usually if you don't if you can't find that this one is usually easy to find and it is good as a little sweetness it's a smokehouse maple seasoning it's very good too so anyway ground up your meat and season it so the condiments and vegetable toppings that you want on your nachos now you can put anything you want to on yours but these are mine and we love this combination so tomatoes onion green onion cilantro whole sweet corn you can get the extra sweet too it's fine that's kind of usually get but i didn't see it there uh and then lettuce cheddar cheese you can get a mix you can get taco cheese mixed with cheddar or whatever you want to do um here are the nachos you can get any style you want but we like the clancy's from aldi and we get the Ortega mild ranch taco sauce and we get the and we usually get Kroger brand taco sauce but I wasn't at Kroger so I got this Ortega which I've gotten before and we like this too and sour cream so that's what we like and also you guys lately we have been putting pineapple on just little pineapple tidbits or chopped up pineapple just like pineapple tastes good on pizza it tastes good on nachos so i didn't see any in the cabinet so my husband ran out he's getting some now so i'll be putting that on the nachos too also you guys i have this three section tupperware bowl and it's like a shallow bowl but it holds everything we need for toppings so if you have something that has several compartments in it to hold your toppings that would be great so now what you do is chop everything up and get it in the bowl or containers that you want them to go in. Always make sure to wash and dry off your lettuce. So here is the vegetable toppings all chopped up. I have the lettuce, cilantro, onion, green onion, and tomatoes. So you can put those in the refrigerator if you're not going to use them right away. Because I suggest chopping things up ahead of time and just putting them in the refrigerator. That's, that way you're not doing everything while you're cooking and prolonging dinner. Now, for an easy, easy, easy cleanup, get some Reynolds Wrap, aluminum foil, and uh, it doesn't have to be Reynolds Wrap, of course, it could be the store brand, doesn't matter. <laughs> so, just put it over your pan. If you're um, having a lot of people, you want a huge pan, you can eat right off the pan, or you can have little plates around so people can put them, you know, 
on their individual plate, but we're family, so we're eating all off of one pan. And to make it super easy, like I said, you're just gonna cover this up. Let me flip it over to this side. But you're just gonna cover the pan. That way when you get done, you ball this up, the pan is still clean, and you can put it right back in the cabinet. So everything is ready. Uh, my husband is on his way. He has the pineapple and he got the pineapple chunks. So it's just going to go on top when he gets here. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble everything now. So my hands are clean. We have a half bag already open. So what you want to do is place your biggest chips all around on top of the foil or top of the pan. That way everybody gets a big chip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on top of here and I'm going to put it under the briller just for about 30 seconds so it can melt and that is a super high heat so you have to be standing right by it and watch it uh, or you could put the meat on first when it's hot and then put the cheese right on top. I'm going to do a combination of both. I'm going to put cheese on here then a layer of meat and then a little bit more cheddar cheese and then put the rest on. And under the broiler, they go for about 30 seconds and you can make them cheesier if you want to. But here they are. So what we're gonna do now is put the meat on top of the nachos. And just kind of sprinkle it around. But if you wanna use a big slotted spoon, uh, depending on how big you make your chunks of meat or how fine, they would just fall right through. But mines are not small, so I'm using this spatula and I'm just going to spread it out. Now I'm only making half of a pan for the nachos. We're having regular tacos with this meat on tomorrow. So I'm leaving enough for tomorrow.
an onion. <laughs> he does not care for it. I'm going to do some cilantro. And put that on the whole thing. Got a big clump of it. Here, let me break that up. And try to, if you're having this for leftovers the next day, try to chop up all of your um, toppings on that first day so you won't have so much work the next day then you want to go in with your tomato